Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and we are doing our results video for the month of January. Alright, so I've been really excited to film this video because this is my first video that I'm ever filming for this. So let's see how it goes. And I actually need to fill this out too, but I can do that later. So let's now just do our um, budget results. This is our January budget and I'm going to go ahead and just close this out first since we are here. I'm going to go ahead and add up this actual amount for all of our bills. And just a brief overview, we are cashless budgeters. It is me, my husband, our newborn baby, our two pups, and we strictly use credit cards for everything. Of course, you don't have to use credit cards. Um, You can definitely change this up to just use a debit card too or with cash whatever you guys like but that's just kind of what works for us and it's just something that we've been doing for years now we really like taking advantage of like the cash rewards and stuff but yeah so for our budget we have this broken down we have our income up here we have our little categories for the month i always say that if i was cash budgeting um using cash I, these would be my cash envelopes and then i have my fixed funds over here for sinking funds and whatever savings we have and then down here is all of our bills for our fixed and our variable so i'm going to go ahead and calculate the totals up for our variable bills first so all of our actual expenses i'm going to just add up all right so this is the total for all of this added up together i'm kind of on the same like time frame as my last video so i'm, I'm kind of just like running through it uh, i will definitely try to provide more details since this is my first budget results just the results video especially with our new 2023 spreads anyway let's do our calculations we are definitely over for our gas which is crazy because i was looking at our bills for last year in the previous year as well and for gas in february we ended up getting to the 130s and I was hoping to not do that this time. The previous year, 2021, we didn't even get that far. So I'm thinking like maybe because we've been cooking more, our January one was so high. I honestly don't know. I wasn't expecting for it to be so high. I mean, it kind of is what it is. But that's also another reason why like I really doing my 2023 budget quarterly is just like it's so much less stress. Because last year when I did it for the whole entire year and, and something was off like that, as the months went on, like I'm not really able to. It just messed up my whole entire budget. But it's okay. Now I know that for the next quarter, I'm just going to probably budget a little different since we're going to be redoing the numbers again for our second quarter of the year but going next to our electric going next to our going next going to our electric um we had a budget of 70 and we only spent 41.79 which is a very nice we are making up we had a remaining amount of 28 dollars and 21 cents mobile the difference is five dollars and 45 cents our internet we are over again and we're gonna be over every single month because i don't know why i put 90 i mean 80 i have no idea why i did that but it is okay we have our holder account for the difference and the main reason why i had this was because i wanted an even number i feel like i'm struggling with my words in this video but yeah so that's kind of what that's for but now i kind of guess it works as a cushion somewhat but now our total for the variance i'm going to add all of this up together the total is now six dollars and 89 cents so that means our actual for bills the total for our variable and fixed is three thousand one hundred forty three dollars and two cents so at least we're still under budget over here and i also want to double check this number so for our leftover for bills that number matches which is fantastic i am going to just write that in for our spendings because like i haven't really been filling this out last year last year in general budgeting trash i don't know what the heck i was doing i didn't tr <laughs> i barely budgeted i kept forgetting about it i know like it's because i kept taking breaks from like planning and stuff in general because um my pregnancy was a little rough but 
we are going to go back into it this month for sure. I need to ask my husband for our, his credit score, but I want to write my credit score as well. But I decided I want to do it at the beginning of the month. I'm going to just leave this blank since I have no idea what it was at the beginning of January. But let's continue on to balancing these out. So I'm going to just do what I did previous months to make it easy. So the remaining out for eating out was 174. And the reason why I still fill this out, like the what we spent, is because like it's really nice to have like an overview of everything that was spent for the month. So that's why I still like to see the numbers, even though like I think it could be seen as repetitive. I don't know, but I still like it. All right, so for pups and baby, we spent $19 for allowance. Let's see. I'm gonna do the easiest numbers first. I don't want to do like too much math in my brain. 392 and then we spent 126 and we spent 57 for allowance. So the total of all of this adding up together, we spent $736. So let's add all of this up as well. In total, we have remaining is 264 and that also matches the amount that we have checked in for our weekly balance when we balance out our checking account. So the total that we spent was $736. 736. Alrighty, so this is now officially checked in. Now let us do our sinking funds. Checking in the sinking fund real quick. And as you guys know, I like to do my single stuff first. So on budget it, we only have one on budget it. That was $62 that we spent. Then we have sewer and water, which is also only one. That was $137 for sewer and water. Next we have Pups Miscellaneous for $19. 19 Pups. Where's Pups Miscellaneous? 19. Medical is $381. That was only one. I <laughs> I wanted to take this video slower, but I feel like I'm also flying through this video as well. Office, we have $65. Costco, we have $150. And then for the baby category, we had $119. And then the only two remaining is gifts and treating. So we have the $35 plus the $26. That is a total of $61 that we had from gifts and treating that we spent. And now all those have double check marks. So that looks good. The visual thing is just really easy for me to tell. But I'm going to go ahead and put dashes for all these just to make it easy that we did not spend anything. So for car insurance, 347 plus 60 is $407. Sewer and water, 181 plus 75 minus 137 equals $119 left over. 300, we're just keeping at 300 over here. Pups, medical, we had 215, we added 25. That means we have $240 left over. For our medical, we had $550 plus $100 minus $381. Remaining amount of $269. Baby category, remaining amount of $266. Car maintenance, $200 left over. Gifts and treating, $164 left over. Household, we have $128. Dates, we have 175. Oh my gosh, this dates is just, I don't think I'm gonna add anything else to it since we haven't been using it. For home, we have $285. I kind of want to like make this easier for me to write. So let me just do this. Where are we? Clothes, we have 270. For Pups food, we have $201. Pups miscellaneous, we have $100. $11. For Costco, we have zero. For office, we have $115. Beauty, we have $93. 
And then for unbudget, we have a leftover of we have a leftover of a 409 plus 245 since we added that amount and then we spent 62. So we have a $592 left over. So let me add up all the amounts that we spent so far and I'm going to enter it down here. So in total, we spent $994. In our total remaining, I'm going to add up all of our end amounts. We have an amount of $3,985. And let's see if those numbers match. So yeah, that matches from our weekly budget as well. So that looks good. I'm really happy about that. Our total that we spent for sinking funds is 994. So I want to put that in our preview real quick. 994 dollars. Now all of that is checked in. So let's make sure we're not missing anything since I feel like I haven't done a results video in so long. But we're looking good. Saveopoly, I do want to put the total we saved for Saveopoly. Since this is a results video, I do want to fix our one account. Every time I end the month, I do go ahead and reset the second checking account since the only funds in here should be what we have left over as the end amount for sinking funds. Since for sinking funds, we currently have this amount. But then we also have to add to sinking funds and then we also have to add to bills and then monthly budget. We're restarting for the month of February. So as of right now, since I haven't even budgeted for the month of February yet, technically for the month of February, I have zero dollars for our monthly budget categories, which are the ones that we use for eating out, groceries, gas, allowance, and pups. And we have zero dollars for bills since we haven't even budgeted for bills yet. And for sinking funds, we have not yet added anything for the month of February. So currently in this account, we should only have what we ended the month with. So this number that's in here, it should actually be $3,985. So what I'm going to do is the difference of this let me actually calculate what that is real quick so we had 4256.04 that minus the 39.85 equals 271 dollars and four cents that i'm going to transfer over to our primary checking account because we want this current amount to be correct and that difference the reason why there is a difference is if you guys watched my week four check-in it is because we had remaining amount that we didn't spend for bills and for our monthly budget categories. So that's where that, that extra money is coming from. So we kind of are lucky and rewarding ourselves for not spending everything. I'm going to go ahead and transfer over that money over to our primary checking account. And I'm actually going to put that in our Saveopoly log because... And that is money that I want to transfer into our Saveopoly account. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer the difference over to this primary checking. And this primary checking is what holds our outgoing money or spent money. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer over that to it. Like I know it's multiple transfers, but this is just what makes sense in my head. Because anything that I have outgoing funds, I just like to keep all in one account. So even if it takes days to transfer out, it doesn't really bother me. Because like it's not affecting my real numbers because this account i just ignore whatever is in there i know it's going to pay for a credit card or it's going to get transferred out to our external savings account it's going somewhere but <laughs> that's kind of what that's about and if you guys are curious about how these accounts are set up i always say them in the videos i'm so sorry if i just like say it non-stop <laughs> but i will have a video linked below explaining all of our checking and savings accounts but anyway so going back in here let me just put that we were able to have a 271.04 for January leftovers. After I transfer that over to that account, that plus 316 that we originally had means our new total is going to be $587.04. So we're getting somewhere. That's really not bad for the month of January alone not bad at all not bad at all so let me do the transfer real quick so i can put this t down and i'll be right back all right so that is now transferred so we are looking good now hopefully i have enough lines for the rest of the month because i'm planning on using only two lines per month so. okay i probably won't have enough lines for the rest of the year but 
it's okay we'll <laughs> when we get there we'll figure it out now let's see for our budget results so for our budget results let's actually fill this in so we have our income and then we have our monthly you can definitely do this a lot of different ways i've seen a lot of people like to do it like income fix and then variable and separate it that way or just like income and then like spent however you guys want to do it but for me i personally just really like to have as much of a breakdown <laughs> as i can so for our income this is um going to be the amount across the board because we have a 152 budgeted and that's just what it, the actual is going to be as well so 152 that was a budget and that was also the actual and then there's no variance now for our monthly budget, we budgeted 1,000. So 1,000. And then for bills, we budgeted 3,150. 3,150. And then for sinking funds, every month for the first quarter, and then for our first quarter budget, we have it for sinking funds where we transfer $1,000. And that did not change for the month of January. And I don't think this is going to change until we redo our budget for the next quarter. But that is going to be the budget and the actual, so no variance there either. So let's see how much we spent for our monthly budget and for bills. So for monthly budget and bills, what was the total? So what we spent, the total was... I'm just going to transfer this info over. <laughs> so 7.36 is what was spent. 7.36. And the end amount was 264. 264. And then for bills. So I'm going to put this actual. So 3,143 and 2 cents. 3,143 and 2 cents. And then the amount that we had left over, I'm just going to transfer because, of course, we already calculated this stuff earlier together. I know this is like a little repetitive, but I just, again, I just really like seeing like a consolidated overview of it. So now I have it per every quarter. I just really like to see numbers. You guys might know if you guys have been watching my videos, I'm a very visual person. <laughs> So that's kind of why I really like seeing certain things. I have checks all over the place. It's just how my brain functions because I can't remember anything. Yes, so let me go ahead and calculate this. So we have our budget. Maybe I should put a line here. Will that help? Or Because like this is the incoming amount and this is the outgoing money. Yeah, let me just put a line because like why not? It will make it easier for my brain. So I'm going to just, maybe I'll just do it for this section. Oops. That went a little bit over, but you know what? It still looks good. The reason why I want to do this is because this is the incoming and this is all outgoing. So our budget, we had 52. That minus 1,000. Oh, you know what I forgot to calculate for? I realized that I meant to put this as like fixed, but sinky funds and ally. So I, I forgot the $50. I want to change the name for this. Sinky funds and ally? <laughs> Yeah, let's just make it that. Just simple. Sinking funds and ally. <laughs> Literally. Okay, so let me just add the $50 real quick. And $50. Alright, so $5,200 was our starting budget amount. And then that minus $1,000, minus the $3,150, minus the $1,500. That equals to $5,200 since we are doing zero-based budgeting. The actual amount that we spent, the 736 plus the 314302 and the 1050, all three of these numbers added together is $4,929.02. So that means that our end amount, let's add this together, the 264 plus the $6.89 or 98 cents. That means the total is $270.00. Why do I always get my 8s and my 9s mixed up? Oh my goodness. Uh, there we go. But that is our end amount. And that means the, our total for Saveopoly that we're able to add in addition is that amount, which is fantastic. Hopefully it continues to increase as the months go on, but I know that's not really likely, but that's okay. So we have that one filled in as well. 
and we're just gonna also fill in our budget what is it called not our budget our bills so let's go ahead and fill in our bills as well i'm just going to transfer over the information for our bills so our mobile for january our mobile was 174.55 we didn't have car insurance i don't think we're gonna have car insurance until april but it depends if we if we change insurances and they'll be different but let's see for gas 136.59 for water, do we have anything for water? Not for this month. So, but we did have sewer. Our sewer was 136.33. So 136.33. And then electric, for our electric was 41.79. And then for our mortgage, it's the same amount. All right, so those are the only bills I like to track in here for now. Maybe I'll increase more in the future, but that is actually going to be it for this results video. Um, all of these spreads I did set up in previous videos as well. But of course, as always, if you guys have any questions, please do let me know. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!